What's going on everybody? My name is Ari. I'm on Instagram and on YouTube as Nothing New Thrift. Today I want to share with you guys the photo setup that we used to sell just over $100,000 on eBay in the last 10 months. Um, yeah, I'll share with you guys uh, the materials that I used. We're going to share uh, where we bought the material and uh, a quick you know, instruction on how to set it up. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys learned something and I hope it's helpful to, uh, to some other resellers out there. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's start with what I think is the most important component. It's definitely going to be the lighting. Um, first off, try to be in like a well-lit room. Try to allow natural light into the room. That's going to help you get like the nicest looking pictures. Um, and then we're going to have this nice uh, lamp with a big, big bulb in it. Um, and then we have a set of two of these newer lights. This is basically the main source of lighting. Um, the model is, it's a newer, N-E-E-W-E-R model NL480. Um, again, it's a set of two of these, uh, real simple on off button, battery pack if you need it. And then they have this like a uh, temperature control so you can make it more yellow or more blue to, uh, yeah, to adjust for the uh, color of uh, item you're shooting. Yeah, I think that's going to be like the most important part of the, of the setup. I'll make sure to link everything that I can down below. Um, none of this is sponsored, obviously. These are all just products that uh, I bought myself and I've been using for a while and I, I can recommend to you guys. Before we go any further, I definitely have to give a shout out to Chris over at Daily Refinement. Um, yeah, I watched his video on how to build a vertical flat lay and that's kind of what gave me the idea on how to set up mine. Um, I basically, I think I, I got the same backboard as him and then, you know, just a couple of things I, I set up my way. But yeah, shout out to Chris. All right, so now let's talk about this backdrop and what it's made out of. All right, let's see if I can flip this thing around to show you guys, like, uh, on the back it kind of shows what, it, what it's made out, or what it is, so let's see if I can flip it. So it's pretty lightweight. All right, there it is. All right, so this is what the back looks like. It's this R-Tech insole foam. Um, I believe it was $20 for the big piece. Uh, I think I cut off like two feet of length. And so it's uh, six feet long by four feet wide. It fits uh, mostly anything that I try to shoot on it. Um, the back, the way I pinned it and made it nice and tight, I got these little uh, nails going straight through the fabric. Oh, they're actually almost coming through, huh? But yeah, I've got these nails in here, kind of all the way through pulling the, uh, the backdrop fabric tight. The string is thrown over the top and then just taped to the back. I taped it as much as I could. You guys can see that little tape job in there. Yeah, that's what holds my string for my hanger on the, uh, on the other side. This uh, white material that I have for my background, it's actually just like a fleece blanket from Target. It's literally like a queen size fleece blanket uh, i think it costs like 10 15 dollars uh, same thing i'll make sure I, i'll make sure to link it um but yeah nothing crazy just a nice big old sheet blanket the material does grip um does grip some of the items that we shoot on here like the shirts it can grip it pretty well um i do like the hanger though we do like the hanger because we can give the items like a, a pull from the bottom to help us like straighten it out and tighten it tighten it while we're setting it up um yeah so that's the hanger, and then it's just hooked on this string that's thrown over the back and taped on the on the back side. Should replace this string with something white so it doesn't uh, show as much, but yeah. All right, so one of the last details might seem pretty minor. It's actually kind of a big deal. Um, you need to make sure that your setup is propped up a little bit um, just so you can kind of stick your feet under and get closer to your item. If not, this goes all the way down to the ground and you kind of got to like stand away and like lean forward while you shoot your picks. So yeah, if it's off the ground, you can kind of scoot in there real tight and then uh, get a real comfortable shot of, uh, of your item and then all of the details as well. All right, so now just a quick recap. Um, the lights, pack of two of these newer lights off of Amazon. Um, again, I will link that. Backboard is the installation foam board from Home Depot. Um, I will link that. The cover for the backdrop is just a blanket from Target. Uh, it's like a $10, $15 blanket. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you guys that as well. Um, the bins I used to prop it up are from Target as well. And the hanger, probably from Target as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to link as much as I can. Uh, yeah. 
So I really hope that that was helpful. Um, I would say that there's no other question that I get asked more other than about my photography setup, whether it's the lights or you know what I use for the background. And I have like the links saved in my phone. I just like shoot them off to people real quick um, when they ask. But yeah, I wanted to make a video kind of putting it all together so you guys can see it. Um, I think the total cost for it all uh, again, the lights are the most expensive part, and I'm sure you can find cheaper lights. Uh, I think these are just good lights, and they, again, they've worked well for me. Um, all in all, it's probably like a $250 setup. Um, again, you can shoot with just natural daylight. Like in here, there's probably enough light to shoot without these lights. Almost, yeah, there's almost enough light in the room to shoot just like that. Um, so basically, these lights just allow me to shoot at all hours of the day. Um, not super necessary, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, um, drop them in the comment section below. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely uh, let me know. I'm glad to be back um, with a video after you know two, three months off. Yeah, just had a lot going on. Uh, been getting our listings up every single day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Check us out on Instagram and on YouTube at uh, Nothing New Thrifts. And we'll be back on the next one. We'll see you guys soon.